Why, hello guys, and welcome to my weekly commentary. And this week we have a full slate of topics and amazing things due to the fact that we had another amazing commenter actually request things. And so um, we have a karaoke song that was requested, and we also have a topic. And today's topic is superpowers, which one I would like. And if I had to make one up on my own, or make my own superpowers, what would I pick? I might not get, all, get to all that today because I have a lot of things to talk about. So let's get down to the song, and the song requested was Garth Brooks' The Dance. So hope you guys enjoy. It's a good song to sing, sing karaoke, but I just sang it completely acapella with nothing. And hopefully this is what Jack Lieber had in mind when he requested the song. And if not, tough luck, this is what you get. Now this is the part where you have to imagine a haunting piano and guitar intro, and then the song starts right now. Looking back on the memory of a dance we share Needs the stars above For a moment all the world was right How was I to know that you'd ever say goodbye and now I'm glad I didn't know the way it all would end, the way it all would go. Our lives are better left to chance. I could have missed the pain. But I'd have had to miss the dance. Holding you, I held everything for a moment. Wasn't I the king? But if I'd only known. How the king would fall, then who's to say, you know I might have changed it all, and now I'm glad I didn't know the way it all would end, the way it all would go. Our lives are better left to chance. I could have missed a pain, but I'd have had to miss the dance. Yes, my life is better left to chance. I could have missed a pain. But I'd have had to miss the dance. And there you go. A, my best impression of Garth Brooks. So, on to the topic of the day. And who hasn't imagined or idly pondered the topic of what you would do if you actually were able to have superpowers? Or if you actually had superpowers? And what superpower would you pick if you were able to pick them? Is of course in the genre of superhero movies, usually people don't choose their superpower because it's just something part of their genetics, depending on what, they, what universe you're in, what acid slash chemical slash whatever you've been exposed to which causes you to mutate, whatever the case may be. To be perfectly honest, a lot of superpowers are completely useless in normal everyday life. We'll, we'll take Cyclops, for example. I can shoot a focus laser out of my eyeball, eyeball but I have to wear a really dorky, weird mask all the time, which makes me look like a complete nerd, and I shoot a laser out of my eyeballs. What's that do for me in, like, you know, commuting to work or uh, on my job, unless I'm, like, a, a human CNC machine, which which cuts metal into a pattern? I pretty much have no application for my superpower aside from military applications and combat applications, which, honestly, I really actually want to avoid if I have a superpower. There's this whole thing of death that happens with military and combat applications. And I can just imagine all the snipers on the other side are like, shoot the guy with a laser eyeball first. That's just what I would do if I was a sniper. So um, that, that one there seems sort of worthless. And like, 
for example, the Toad. I'm, I'm staying in the X-Men universe. Sorry if I if I saturate that some more. I, I'm more familiar with that universe. You know, I can jump long distances and have a really long freakish tongue, and my eyes are green. That's really most of those are a detriment, except for the long jump long distances part. Because see, for me, I'm thinking of how I'm going to live my life, and how I'm going to uh, integrate with society and do jobs with these superpowers. Because I don't want a superpower which makes me a freakish standout that everyone stares at, and um, basically just a giant magnet for supervillains to come and you know threaten my family and and really threaten my life. I wouldn't go advertising that I have a superpower in the actual world because that just invites supervillains. Guaranteed, if you're a superhero and biff around and start taking out normal crooks with a, your little vigilante mask and doing good for society, you're going to have spawn a supervillain. It, it's, it's like a delayed boss. After you've killed a certain amount of the minions, the boss comes out. You don't want to, so that means you just don't mess around with the minions. You don't want anyone to know you have a superpower. You want a superpower which is going to be cool and can basically enrich your life and, and, and make your life more fun, but without uh, the whole fighting, crime fighting thing. It makes a great movie, it doesn't make a great life. S Spider Man is pretty much miserable the entire time he's swinging around. Yes, he occasionally has fun and, and yells and with joy as he's swinging, but he's always worried about school, he's failing in that, he's trying to save all these people, and then he feels guilty, and then it just is never ending. What you want is a nice, comfortable superpower that you can sort of fit into your everyday routine without too much impact. But still, it's a cool, because you want a superpower that's actually cool. You know, if you're just going to pick a random one, like, say, Wolverine's ability to heal, no claws coming out of my hands, please. But just the ability to heal, that basically makes you immortal. It's a fairly useful superpower. But you'd have to just remember, every 20 years or so, you need to relocate and start a new life, because people are going to notice that you live forever. And then all the people you connect with uh, are going to die, and if you find that one soulmate, that's going to suck. But the other thing is that you could do it like extreme sports. Unbelievably insane jumps through flaming hoops, uh, doing triple backflips over click, you know, go to the Grand Canyon, and not really worry about it, because you're going to be fine. Although, people probably would realize you had a superpower if you fell off on the top of the Grand Canyon and didn't die. You, uh, yeah. The, the ramp, yeah, you have to sort of curb that. But you would be able to approach all kinds of things without fear. There's a whole thing of what if your life just gets to the point where it's so sucky that you want to commit suicide, but you can't because you instantly heal all the time. That's another drawback of that one. You're sort of stuck here for this day. Depending on what your belief of the of the afterlife and eternity goes, that could really suck. Um, in my view, actually being stuck on Earth for millions of years would be way worse than dying and going to heaven. But that, but that because I, am a, I, I have a Christian worldview where I, I believe that there is a heaven. And so... If you're a, a, a staunch evolutionist, then probably the, the immor immortality aspect of it would be pretty cool. Although then you, like I said, you, just, you have no get, it, you have no out. You, you're stuck here. You can't even kill yourself, and you got to, and you're basically gonna last until the Earth dies. And then what do you do? Would you even be immortal in space? Huh. That would really suck. If you're just floating around in space with no way to get anywhere and you couldn't die, that would probably be like the worst fate you can imagine. I would I would take the the hundred year life bye bye ch I'm checking out method over that any day even if I was convinced there wasn't a resurrection telekinesis would be super cool just be able to move objects with your mind and just play games with people and like I said the the main thing in this whole equation is you don't want people to know you're super and of course it's going to be really tempting not to blow it and have people realize that you are super and that's that that'd be the main challenge I would probably move and go to a different part of the world if people were realizing I had a superpower because the whole fun of telekinesis would be being able to do really cool stuff and then basically not have everyone know. Because the moment, moment people know, then the supervillains, they come out of the woodwork left and right. You can't help it. They just do. And so then the military wants you and people are worried about you lifting money out of their banks and their flat screens out of their houses, which you could do. You could be a, you could be a heck of a cat burglar if you had telekinesis. And see, here's what I like to do. I like to imagine a superpower and then imagine a career or a pastime which would capitalize on that to the to the utmost and for me like if i had telekinesis being a magician just goes right with that you would basically be the best magician the world has ever seen no one could even approach to possibly come close to the magic tricks you could do because they would be real magic you could actually float things around and people would always be wondering how you did it but pretty cool you'd, you'd probably make millions of dollars and be a rock star and have a pretty comfortable life so wow um telekinesis 
I'm going to go with telekinesis. I'm just, you know, oh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and I didn't even get to thinking of um, superpowers, which I would admit, or, or special powers, which I would like. That's going to have to be a later commentary. And so I have a bit of a backlog. i got to hit the other Oz of the requests on uh, ethics and that sort of thing. And I'll hit this the second half of this later. And, of course, you guys like, subscribe. I put a bit of effort into this, so um, I'd really appreciate sharing it around a bit, and I need your comments, and I need your suggestions. Another karaoke song, more topics and suggestions, and we will keep this thing rolling. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next week.